Hello guys, welcome again to another episode of integrating M-Pesa into your Node.js application. So in this tutorial, I'm not teaching Node.js, but there are several tools that you need installed in your computer. And I believe that if you are taking this, this uh, you are going through these tutorials, uh, you are familiar with Node.js and JavaScript and Express. Uh, if not express there's no problem but if you should be familiar with node.js and javascript well so the first thing is to the first thing is to make sure that uh, you have npm so npm comes with node.js so what i'm saying that is that you need to make sure that you have node.js installed in your computer so if you just search node.js you find that will uh, i'm on windows so you are, you can download the long term support version here long term support but actually i believe that everybody following this tutorial has node.js installed so node.js comes with npm so i have set up a folder where we are going to 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 operate from and this this folder and i just want to open the terminal from the folder so i'm just right clicked and i'll go to git bash here and then if i do npm dash v and hit enter it will tell me the node package manager uh, version in my computer so npm stands for node package manager that means that uh, when doing a project there is your code and there's a code that maybe somebody else wrote or a package that you want to the package to help you in one way or another so npm helps you to install those packages so you don't have to reinvent the wheel maybe you want uh, a package to format uh, to format your data into json you can um, maybe install the pretty json package and that package is going to help you you don't have to write that code from scratch so that is what why you call node package manager and as you can see npm dash v it gives me 6.14.10 so this is the npm uh, version in my computer currently installed in my computer you can also do the same for node so but this shows that node is already installed so the first thing we have to do is to, init to initialize our application to, to initialize our application using npm so we'll do npm init dash y so dash y means that if we don't we just do npm in it alone it is going to prompt some question as we go but if we add a y flag we are like telling it that do, just use the defaults don't ask us for any change just use the defaults and hit enter so as you can see uh, the, the path that has uh, done that and tells you that name of the application is it has just used default values right so if we open a, a, our ide or code the editor from this folder here we are going to get a file like package.json and package.log.json so let's just open like code I am opening my editor, which is a Visual Studio code in this directory. So as you can see, our folder was empty, but now we have node, we have package.json file. And what is the use of this file? Well, I said that I'm not teaching Node.js, but all the packages that you install, the information about those packages are stored in, in package.json. And if uh, we begin installing packages you're also going to see a node underscore modules folder and package.log uh, uh, file okay so after setting up these 
uh, the, the the next thing you have to do is to install the packages that you are going to use and the first one is to, ex to install the express framework so we'll do npm install express and i need okay express and uh, body parser i'll tell you the, the use of that i think those are the ones i need now so i'm uh, installing uh, express express is the framework that you're going to use on top of node.js it's like a framework on top of a framework so node.js is a javascript framework and express is a node.js framework so it's like a framework on top of another framework body parser is not found i don't know if i use the correct spelling let me just google i think it is body underscore parser so let's just correct that it is body underscore parser like that and the packages have been installed so the next step is to install the uh, nodemon i tell you the use of nodemon so npm dash install dash dash i think also dev so you used to do dash d to to install a dev dependency but i think they changed this how you did node one so without node one if we are running our server every time we'll have to refresh right so every time we'll have to refresh the page or rerun the server again but when you have node it is going to watch over the folder and every time we do a new change it is going to update and they're gonna just install the, the uh, packages now if we look at our if we look at our package.json and our folder first on the package.json we find uh, we will find this depend dependencies we have but body parser express and node mode and then here we have package.log and node.js module so all the pro all the packages that we install the files that belongs or, or are used by those packages are stored in node modules uh, directory so if we look here we find that the main or entry part of application is node.js index.js but you can change it to any other name that you prefer it can be app.js some call it server.js any other name you want to call it the meaning that you have to create this file so in this folder just right click and create a file and we are, let me just call it index.js like that so inside this index.js it is where we are going to initialize the server okay of course what i'm doing is not uh, just it's not a, a a real application but of course we have the application structure so if you are really doing a, an application you know how to structure it so i'm just doing it very simply like this for the purpose of demonstration okay so the first thing we have to to require we have to require express cons express is equals to require we are using we are using node so require express you can use import but that will have to compile your code into modern into your javascript es i think um, 2009 
after uh, defining or uh, importing express we will just do const app is equals to express so you have to initialize ex express like that and then we can do uh, we can maybe just define port const port just use small letters const port is equals to um, process dot env dot port stop can just run it on port 3000 i'll explain to you so what this means is um uh, uh, you know this application right now it's running on the local server but when maybe we, we take it online there is this process that uh, contains the port in which that application is running so it will use this port instead of using this log the one that are using on the local server so after having those we'll just do that app app dot listen so we need that app to listen uh, at that port that we defined and then maybe we can just do a function and this time i'm doing i'm doing uh, es6 i'm writing a so uh, es6 function that is our function you can just do console dot log the application is running on port 3000 port let's do this let's just remove that and do it that way and then you can use uh, ports so it is a person that log the application is running on port and then port so this port is going to be the one that uh, we defined here so after that how do we test application application to see if everything is running well or uh, maybe after setting up this server so we'll just go to the terminal here and then we'll just do we have installed nodemon so just do nodemon like that and hit enter and there you go uh, as you can see it has started the server and uh, everything is running fine as console log the application is running on port uh, 3000 so every time we send a request to this port it is going to serve whatever it's going to serve for example uh, if maybe I, I want to 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 maybe access it on our browser i can just do app dot i can just define a route app dot get maybe let's say slash like that and we can do arrow function request response and you want it to work in a way that when someone accesses this route we will echo this and we can just do rest dot send so rest dot send maybe h1 Welcome to Mpesa. To not just Mpesa integration like that. There is an error. I don't know. Okay, we not. Yeah, you need to put that there. Okay, like that. So let's try to access that application, the browser. So it is running on port local host port three thousand. 
you can just do 127 and then 3000 like that and hit enter and there you go you see it has served whatever we said welcome to node.js and further integration so it is serving this h1 that we defined here so thank you so much and let's meet in the next section